Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't know what I'm expecting going into this, by the way. What? <laughs> And welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking onto this video. I'm Jennifer Glatzofer, a musical theatre performer, a voice teacher, and today we are reacting to someone new-ish because obviously I've never done, I've never reacted to this person, but they are really highly requested. So I'm super excited. I always say that. Today I will be reacting to and analysing Diana and Kudinova. I will be reacting to Wicked Game. This has literally been in my suggestions, comments, a lot. So we're gonna go. <laughs> Before we do get on to the reaction, please do hit that subscribe button and the bell button to be notified whenever I post. Let's go. I have no idea what I'm in for. I, I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't know what I'm expecting going into this, by the way, as well. So what? <laughs> I believe she is around 14, 15. Correct me if I'm wrong or if you know the specific age that she is, was when she was performing this. But that's so low. What, what was that? <laughs> that is on an F3 and she is so secure down there. It sounds a little bit dopey uh, down there, but like she sounds so secure. And I love that we are starting on a little bit of a breath-like quality. And do you see how that voice then comes in so clearly? <laughs> what? Let's watch that again. The world was on fire. No one could save me. And then it's connected. But you. It's strange what is will make foolish people. We have gone up that octave, so we're now onto our F4, still in our chest voice. We are kind of hearing a little bit more of a blend mix because we are softening it up there. On that last part of what we just heard, we heard again, like, we've listened to about, well, it says 33 seconds, and we've heard a whisper-like quality, a more connected quality, and now we're kind of going towards her back of her throat, changing the tone of her voice. And to be able to do that in, like, the space of a couple of seconds is... <laughs> crazy let's listen to that part again we can see that she's kind of going into a more mixed voice because of that volume and blending qualities already together Connected. and now she's exploring that voice there It's so, like, we don't hear this voice often, that's why it sounds so different and unique, but it still sounds super healthy. In voice singing lessons, we are told to neutralise the larynx. I don't know how much I like using that term because naturally the larynx will move, but here, what we are seeing Diana do is manipulating that larynx, so changing that space of that larynx, allowing it to drop down to get into that. It's the choice that she's gone for. I mentioned this before, but if we're going with something, we want to be 100% in that choice and live in that choice therefore we love it and love to see someone exploring their voice it's so cool wow oh, i think they're gonna get another vote <laughs> could you hear that smoothness of that slide up we are going through registers there so we are naturally going to hear that no, can you hear that break, right? We're going lovely into that breath-like quality at the top. Still quite connected, actually. Really lovely in that head voice. Then coming back into this chest voice, into back to that same position with that dropped larynx and open uh, back of our throat, but cool. Class. She got two more. Wow, so relaxed as well. 
It's not necessarily like we said earlier. Where are we? We're on a we're on an F sharp three down here. But because of the way we're manipulating the larynx and changing that timbre, um, <laughs> and she's staying down there, and it sounds so uh, sustainable. It doesn't sound like she's hurting herself at all. We got a little bit classical there as well before we could you hear when we went up to that head voice before it was a little bit breathy we were still connected but we allowed a little bit of that breath through and here whee, we got really quite classical in that i <laughs> we don't hear voices like this and she's so like just free with her voice and allowing it just to go to any color this whole passage is like low down and do like how we said with, and it's opening that space at the back, but it's still really forward at the same time. <laughs> And now we're kind of leaving that place a little bit, adding a little bit more of that twang-like quality just to get that bright sound. Wow, so again, getting that breath uh, quality in there, in that head voice, making it really floaty. That's lovely. No. She's literally using her voice as an instrument, right? And playing out all those lovely notes and just... Oh, we're going into more of a belt now here. We're getting uh, that speech-like quality is lifting slightly. We're not raising our chest voice, we're not pushing with our chest voice, but we're allowing some of that quality to go up there and add in that head voice that she clearly has as well. Blending the two together to get louder sound over there. Now we open up. She's also using some cry quality in there. Let's just listen to that one more time. So we still have some of that quality that we had at the beginning, but it's not as, uh, so if we're talking about percentages, it's not towards 80, 90%. It's probably like 50, 60, maybe 40 even. So we still have that in us because it's her voice, but she still changed it so much to get that brightness in there and keep that, and her mouth is so relaxed as well, her jaw's so relaxed to allow that to happen. No one could save me but you. And at that last moment we returned, we added some vocal fry in there to get that uh, to get that back into it, adding that whisper right at the end. So it's kind of like a full circle. How many vocal techniques did we just see? <laughs> How many different tones, timbres, styles, like shook. Whoa. So, hands up if you've never heard a voice like that before. <laughs> that was out of this world. Someone to sing like that at such a young age and have so much um, support down there as well, that's crazy. And like, her voice can only go further, which is very exciting. Again, this kind of shows that there are no rules. 
right? If our voice wants to do that and it doesn't hurt and it sounds healthy, obviously always consult with a voice teacher if that's something that you um, have in your life, then go for it. Explore your voice, be free. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a massive thumbs up if you did and do hit that subscribe button and the bell button to be notified every time I post. And I shall see you shortly for another video. Bye. Thank you.